Welcome to Lovely News Network. And once again, we have another story coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida, okay? So what's going down in Florida now, you ask? What's going down is this. Not one, not two, not three people, but nine people. Yes, count it nine, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Feel like I'm on damn Sesame Street. Nine people have been arrested for bullying, harassing, and molesting black bears in the state of damn Florida, okay? So this is what happened. Basically, these people, they created some type of, you know, forest fight club, okay? The first rule of fight club is you do not talk about fight club. So what they would do is they would hide in dumpsters and steal donuts and food from the dumpsters to take out into the woods and then to lure bears, okay? As we all know, bears like honey and sweet shit, right? So they would lure these bears and then at that point, once the bears are eating and, you know, having a good old funky time, they would basically sick their hounds on these bears. The bears would be scared. They'd go running up trees. And then these folks would be shaking the trees, making the bears fall down. I mean, sending the dogs up the trees. The stuff that they were doing to these bears was just downright evil. And it's like, who the hell thinks of shit like this? Who is that bored? Do these people not have a damn job? The oldest was 42 and the youngest were two 25-year-olds who are siblings. So I'm assuming that they're twins, okay? This entire situation is just batshit crazy. Y'all go ahead and watch this news clip. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Baiting bears for profit and fun. At least that's what they say. Eight people have been arrested for luring bears and allowing dogs to maul them. News Channel 8's Ryan Hughes just spoke to the Florida Attorney General about this. Ryan is joining us live in Tampa tonight. This is just awful. I mean, dogs mauling bears. I mean, what's going on? Keith, good evening. It really is. Pam Bodney calling it one of the worst cases she's ever seen. These people allegedly recorded videos of the bear baiting and then posted those videos online. The attorney general with harsh words. This is not hunting. This is not a sport. This is cruelty to animals. The worst of the worst. Eight people arrested, one more being sought for the action seen in these videos. Group members lured bears, then forced them into trees. The bears jumped down or were forced down by the people. And the defendants themselves would come start beating the trees to make the bears fall down so the attack could happen. Or one of these idiot defendants climbed the tree to push the bear off. Once on the ground, packs of aggressive dogs mauled the bear so violently we can't put it on TV. At least two dead, 54 dogs have been seized. Pam Bondi said the people went to great lengths to bait the bears, even staking out Krispy Kreme donut shops after they closed. They would get in the dumpsters and take out, what, hundreds, garbage bags full of donuts and take those donuts and put them around trees. The people baited bears in Baker, Flagler, Union, and Marion counties. People noticed the videos online and called authorities. Bondi expects more arrests. And charges range from racketeering to animal cruelty. We're live tonight in Tampa. I'm Ryan Hughes, News Channel 8. Really? Really, Florida, really? Y'all just watched that news conference. So like I said, this entire situation is insane. Imagine if they would have put all that energy into doing something positive, into doing something worthwhile. I mean, they literally came up with this whole scheme to steal donuts and food from the trash, to attract bears, and then to have them bitten and attacked, and, you know, they were molesting them with sticks and just doing all types of wicked stuff. I saw some of the videos that were posted online. They were really, really disturbing videos. It's really sad that folks would take time out their day to actually do something like this, but I'm glad that they were all arrested. Um, all the dogs were also round up. Hopefully the dogs will be able to find some type of loving home, but I wouldn't trust any of them damn dogs around my damn children, okay? Because those dogs were literally trained to attack, so... I don't know what's going to happen with the dogs, but this entire situation is just really damn disturbing. It makes no damn sense. At this point in time, you just can't make up any of this shit, okay? It just seems like Florida literally has issues. I don't know if it's the water. I don't know if it's something in the air. But the fact that not one, but nine people were arrested for doing this. These folks didn't make no money off of this.
They weren't making a dime. They were literally just doing this just to post it on social media. And then eventually people got tired of them constantly posting this shit because they've been posting this since like 2015. Somebody finally turned them in. You know, so this entire situation is a hot damn mess. But once again, it's coming from our first favorite state, ratchet ass Florida. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet ass situation. Once again, coming from our first favorite state, ratchet ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.